She is my girlfriend. So it felt weird saying that. So this is Cody Cole and he just did the worst thing ever. If you're not updated on the recent Cody Cole situation, this podcast simply sums it up. I hooked up with Cody Cole when I was 17 and he was 25. Mm. Yeah, it happened. Yes guys, it has happened again. Once again, a formerly beloved YouTuber is having terrible hidden things come out about them. But this particular case of Cody Cole is actually surprising, disgusting, terrible and other bad words you can think of. For those who doesn't know who Cody Cole is, Cody is a very popular commentary youtuber not quite the way that i do it but his channel is a commentary irl channel you know just like that of danny gonzalez cody is a very big name on youtube but two days ago another commentary youtuber named d angelo wallace made a video titled an uncomfortable conversation about cody ko where he talks about the situation involving cody ko that no other youtuber agreed to talk about let's have an uncomfortable conversation someone has been alleging for years now that you one of the largest comment Commentary creators on YouTube knowingly committed a crime against her when she was a minor, but YouTubers and viewers alike are ignoring and discrediting these allegations solely because the person making them happens to be an unlikable woman online, Tana Mojo. Earlier when I said that this case was so surprising, it wasn't because it involved Cody Ko. What is so surprising is the fact that this information is very old and nobody has talked about it up until this point. To cut to the chase, this situation is about how a 25-year-old Cody Ko slept with a 17 year old Tana Mojo. If you haven't heard of Mojo, she's a social media model, comedian, influencer lady who is widely known for being so much controversial. From what I'm reading, this situation has been an open secret for a very long time now. For a brain fresher, Cody is now 33 years old. So this situation happened 8 years ago. And according to what I saw, a lot of celebrities in this space has known about this since it happened. But this became a public discussion when Tana Mojo hosted a live episode in front of an actual audience and then she was asked a very stupid question that you love to hear who's the smallest dick you ever had with? oh my god do no one look at me cody co <laughs> delete the videos i can say that i was literally 17 i can say that what? sorry now I don't know if she kind of like retort what she was about to say before splashing it out of her mouth but obviously a lot of people took notice of what she said and they knew like hey that wasn't supposed to happen. After that podcast the news erupted like a virgin volcano and every single person that has a phone has shared their own opinion. But after the first podcast three weeks later Mojo had to readdress the situation because people were curious about what actually happened. What she said in this next podcast was actually really shocking. It was like at every other show we were saying the craziest shit about people. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't being brought to light. And however, I understand that this isn't just some crazy tea. It was a crime. Yeah. And I've tried to talk about this a million times and I feel like I never have the right words. Mm. But it's everywhere all over the internet. And I know people want me to talk about it. And I'm going to do my best right now. You know, I mean, I hooked up with Cody Cole when I was 17 and he was 25. Mm. Yeah. It happened. It is. I definitely am like, why was he doing that? You know what I mean? And there were so many situations. There was a situation with Gabby Hanna at a playlist live where she pulled him aside and told him like, yo, she's 17. And then we still went and hooked up. Mm. And I can look mm -hmm. at that and be like, mm -mm 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 -mm. like, what? The why fuck? the fuck were you doing that? But there isn't a part of me, at least at 25 now. I mean, I look back and I would I would never do anything like that. So I'm like, fuck what no. the fuck was wrong with you? Yeah. But I don't associate or hold it with trauma because I am such a comparative person where I'm like so many worse things have happened to me. I was just hooking up with people and having so much fun. And like, that's the way my mind because I grew up loving him. And I think I you know what I mean? Like yeah. I was just like excited and a fan and like. And I understand that that's where now as a grown adult, you can say you were taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't, I just, I don't feel any of those well, emotions towards it. So that's why it's like, it's much easier to be like, go crucify someone when you feel those emotions. Of course. You know. I want you to also remember that these allegations as it stands are just allegations. It hasn't broken into the legal systems yet because it's just a claim of one person on another person. So it's not justified. But I genuinely feel that Mojo shouldn't be saying that she was taken advantage of because if she was like 17, 17 is like a legal age in most places. I'm not trying to justify the fact that Cody, you know, took advantage of her or whatever. I'm not, I wasn't there. But a girl of 17 is supposed 
to be able to take care of herself and say no when the need arises you know i'm not trying to be biased here or anything but you know that's just my claim the girl of 17 is supposed to learn most things at least from her mom check out what d'angelo said about him like i actually respect d'angelo for saying this all right cody let's have an uncomfortable conversation someone has been alleging for years now that you one of the largest commentary creators on youtube knowingly committed a crime against her when she was a minor but youtubers and viewers alike are ignoring and discrediting these allegations solely because the person making them happens to be an unlikable woman online tana mojo and you know that people are ignoring this because nobody is working harder to bury the story than you and you're getting away with it because commentary youtube has a serious problem i can't blame any of your viewers or my viewers for not hearing about this because you've done such a good job hiding it up until now that i only found out about it recently the situation has been talked about by smaller channels it's been discussed at length on other platforms and it keeps almost hitting the mainstream like with this rolling stone article or this h3 podcast discussion but the reason it hasn't caught on yet despite all of this is that none of your friends nobody on your level nobody in the commentary niche with enough pull is willing to admit that this situation makes you look terrible a lot of people like him a lot and they really are like doing any kind of mental yeah. gymnastic to just ignore it i'm not here to accuse you of committing a crime in this video because i can't do that based on someone else's allegations nobody can definitively take these allegations as proof but at the same time they should still be looked at and not treated as an open secret and swept under the rug like you've been doing for so many years now and from the way the situation keeps popping up more and more often it's clear that there's only so much rug sweeping you can do before people start taking a closer look at things honestly this case about cody cole is actually sad because he knew she was a minor but still went ahead to insert his louis vuitton in her sushi that's just wrong this just shows the kind of thing that happens on a regular basis not only among celebrities but you know everywhere please stay away from getting involved in these kind of issues like it's a real reputation ruiner the craziest part about the cody situation is his audience are actually commenting on every single one of his videos saying how terrible what he did is and how everything he did was not supposed to be done the way it was done but you know he kept censoring them and he doesn't want to reply the one thing that's making things worse here is tana mojo is a very controversial youtuber and cody ko is a very popular and well-liked person so because of that most people might see the claims of mojo as stupid because she's going against a very positive public figure it's just like saying mr beast bunch of homeless men and even though it actually happened everybody will swear on their grandmother's grave that mr beast didn't actually punch a homeless man so yeah that's just um what this topic is about uh, uh cody ko what you did wasn't right in case you listen i i highly doubt you listen to a small channel like me but in case you hear me right now please you know apologize at least say something then you know the silence you're keeping which is very wrong yeah that's the video please leave a like and hopefully leave a sub bye see you tomorrow